Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. In today's video, we are replacing an idle air control valve and a throttle position sensor on a Jeep Grand Cherokee with the V8 4.7 liter motor. Here are the two parts. I technically only need the throttle position sensor, but since we're kind of working in the same area, it won't help to replace its neighboring sensor. And the symptoms I'm having is when you start the vehicle, RPMs are bouncing back and forth, and then the vehicle kind of dies. The two sensors I am replacing are located right here, and the other one is right underneath. So there's our first one, and right above it is the second one. They are mounted by T25 screws. There we go, we got those two sensors disconnected. Here are the two old sensors out. They look to be in actually pretty decent shape. I'm gonna set them aside here. So these shorter screws came from the bottom sensor and these ones came from the top sensor. This is the one that needs the shorter screws and this is the one that needs the longer ones. And this is what it looks like with the two sensors out. So the job in itself is actually very, very easy. I mean, you're not required to use a lot of tools, literally a screwdriver with a T25. Um, the reason why I did it this way without taking off the air box, because just wanted to show you guys that it is possible. It is still very easy to not remove a lot of parts. This approach was a very minimalistic approach to removing both of these sensors. So now I'm gonna put them back in, and then we're gonna start the Jeep. Battery on this Jeep is dead, dead, dead. So we got that hooked up. We will need to clear that engine code. But look at that. Idle is absolutely perfect now. And it's still running. This is gonna be it for this quick tutorial video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. I appreciate you watching. Consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I will see you guys in another video.